Hi, and welcome to Reed's Audio Reading. I'm Reed, and I hope you enjoy my channel. Today I'll be introducing you to a forgotten god from the Dwarven pantheon, Abathor. You can find this information in Dragon Magazine 58. Abathor, Great Master of Greed Greater God At times Abathor has been an ally of other Dwarven gods, but his treachery and lust for treasure make him a dangerous associate. He will never help any non-dwarven deity or creature. He cannot be trusted to do anything but evil unless it suits his own purposes to give assistance. Abathor was not always as devoted to evil as he is now. Originally, his sphere of influence concerned the appreciation of valuable gems and metals, not necessarily at the expense of others. He became embittered with Moradin, appointed Dumathoin, the protector of the mountain dwarves, instead of himself, and from that day forward he has become ever more devious and self-serving in his endeavors, in a continual effort to wreak revenge on other gods by establishing greed, especially evil greed, as the driving force in dwarves' lives. Abathor's greed manifests itself frequently. Should he set eyes upon any magical item or on treasure worth more than 1,000 gold, there is a 40% chance that he will attempt to steal it outright or slay the owner and then take it, 50% chance of either. Abathor wears leather armor and furs made from the skins of beings and creatures who have oppressed him in the past. He uses a plus 5 dagger with a diamond blade and jewels set into the hilt. The dagger does a basic 2 to 24 points of damage and can detect the presence of precious metals, kind and amount, in a 2 feet radius. Anyone but Abathor who grasps this weapon will suffer the loss of one experience level at once and will lose another level each round the dagger continues to be held. Abathor also owns a shield that casts one cause blindness spell per round save at minus six at anyone within range. His home caverns are said to be made of the purest gold. Abathor's servants consist primarily of rappers, the undead forms of his worshippers who died attempting to steal something. Abathor maintains an uneasy truce with Vergadane, with whom he sometimes roams the prime material plane in search for more treasure. If frustrated when attempting to steal an item, Abathor will try to destroy the item so he will not be tormented by the memory of his failure. Thank you for listening to this video of the Forgotten Gods Abathor, Great Master of Greed. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Best regards, Reed.